my name is Caroline Carr and I go to Trinity High School. Two years ago I went to the Girls World Forum in Chicago and that's a gi ginormous Girl Scout um, conference where uh, Girl Scouts from over 90 different countries came and met and we focused on three UN Millennium Goals and that was poverty, um, women's rights and the environment. I had to do a focus project um, on one of the three areas we studied and so I chose the environment. So I decided to double up um, that focus project as my Girl Scout Gold Award project which is the highest award you can earn in Girl Scouts. So I decided to focus my project on litter prevention um, and specifically um, the litter that goes into the creeks um, through runoff. I wanted to put um, signs up and there are 10 signs in total at all the different creeks um, in Bedford with parks and I wanted to use those signs to, um, to link to the Bedford website to um, give people more information about that and have some way for that to be interactive with kids. The sign itself, I wanted it to be fun and something that would be eye-catching for people. Um, so I found this graphic artist on the internet named Greg Fisk who designed this really cool kingfisher design. Um, and kingfishers actually live in the bed of the creeks in Texas. I asked him for permission to use his kingfisher on my signs and he agreed. And it also has a QR code on the sign uh, that links to the Bedford website to a web page that I designed for them, um, giving people more information on how they can help keep Texas beautiful and um, how they can prevent litter from getting into our creeks and other areas. We developed a geocaching game um, for kids as part of the education curriculum. It allows them to go to all the creeks in Bedford and uh, um, view those online. The city paid for the signs themselves, so that was a great relief, but I supplied all of the hardware and the poles and the concrete and all the things necessary to install the signs. I dressed up in my full Girl Scout regalia, my full uniform, um, and I went into Lowe's and I asked to speak to the manager. So I got the poles and the concrete for a really great price. Uh, and then as far as putting the signs in, I did the same thing and I went to Home Depot and I, I went to their rent a tool department I talked to um, the manager there and I said, is there any way we can just borrow an auger and I, you know, I promise I'll bring it back and uh, Girl Scouts honor. And, uh, I have signs placed at Brook Hollow, which is this park, and Stormy Jones, Bedford Boys Ranch, uh, the Linear Park on the Trail, and many more. My message to youth would be just don't mess with Texas. Um, that's a really important phrase and I think, um, I don't know about if everyone has, but I, I definitely grew up hearing that from a young age. Um, don't mess with Texas means to me, uh, I guess just keep Texas beautiful. Um, the Girl Scouts, we have a motto um, and it's when you go somewhere, um, you leave it better than you found it. I was looking uh, for different scholarships online and I came across the Don't Mess With Texas scholarship and so I read about what that was a little bit and I was like, huh, you know, the school award project that I did, you know, this fits perfectly with all the requirements and I was like, I think I could write a good essay and apply for this. Uh, I'm going to UT Austin next year and I hope to major in business and eventually get my law degree and, and become a special agent of the FBI. Hi, I'm Caroline and I'm reminding you, Don't Mess With Texas.